Hey everybody, it's Crypto Forland with Polka City and MetaChain One. I'm gonna offer you guys a little bit of a tutorial video here, a basic walkthrough. This will be one of many to come for Poker City and MetaChain as we build, develop, and proceed forward. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So MetaChain One, MetaChain dot one website is uh, fairly simple to to get to, right? So you need to protect yourself and always triple, quadruple check the URL that you're visiting because it would be really easy for scammers to replicate this and create a whole different website, right? So um, it's not very hard to do. All they have to do is add an extra N or an extra I in MetaChain and all of a sudden they, they send it to you acting like an admin or an employee and then you get scammed, right? So. Um, it, it's pretty brainless. It doesn't really take much to actually figure it all out, uh, but it really sucks to get scammed. And I want you guys to stay safe and protected. So let's go ahead and start off here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look here. Move me over. Perfect. All right. So connect wallet is going to be the first step in all of this uh, in this bridging process. Now, when you visit the website, you're going to come up to, to this main page, right? And what you're going to end up doing is you need to go up here to bridge. Okay. And then this is, this is where we're at. So let's say that you have, uh, you want to send over 50 pull coins, right? You want to bridge 50 pull coins from your BSC. Okay. Not doing anything, right? It's not working. This means you got to come up here. You got to connect your wallet. Now you have MetaChain, Ethereum, and Binance. Now, what we'll need to do is we'll need to come over here to MetaChain, connect, and it's going to pull up uh, MetaMask. Now, I recommend that you use Google Chrome. I have found that it, this does not work on Firefox. I've had some issues, run into some errors. Google Chrome has proven to be the main go-to. Now, when connecting to this wallet, um, it's very simple. You just select the one that you want to connect to. It's going to ask you here again. Do you want to make you want to make sure you want to connect? Yes. Okay. Now it auto auto populates everything in this for you, so you don't have to actually go in and put this in manually. You go ahead and just click approve. Now I don't have to switch it right now because really I'm sending from Smart Chain to MetaChain, but I'm just going to switch it anyway, just so you can see. We're going to go back up here. There we go. Um, <clears throat> you can see in my MetaChain wallet, I have 49 Polk, right? Now, this is really easy because now we have MetaChain 1 that's added into our network list, which is pretty awesome. So then what we want to do is go back to Smart Chain. Okay? I have 138 Polk in that wallet. Now, I need to come down here to send to MetaChain zero fees, okay? We're going to go ahead and just do a quick refresh if you have any issues with it connecting here. And I'm going to go ahead and just redo this one more time. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little refresh. All good, right? All right. So you will transfer 50 Polk to MetaChain 1. Yes. All right. Now this is history. I've been testing it a little bit today, but I wanted to show you this is some of the history. Uh, just kind of get an idea of how it all works and making sure everything's working. Um, but there you go. All right, so to send over my Polk to MetaChain, I need to pay the gas fee, which is 68 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. Boom, there we go, super easy. I've now sent my 50 Polk over to MetaChain 1. Now you're gonna see that populate right there. You just you saw it refresh. So we're going from Binance to MetaChain 1. It's now completed. So that means that if I come back up here to my wallet, you can see that the Polk is missing from the Smart Chain wallet. And there we go. Now I have 98 Polk on MetaChain's side, right? Now, within this network, within MetaChain, using your Polk or using whatever coin it is you're going to use, it's going to cost you zero gas fees. Um, obviously, transferring in and transferring out are a little bit of a different story, right? Uh, if you're coming or leaving, that's those are different stories. But as far as transactions within MetaChain, 
um, and using the MetaChain blockchain network, uh, you're not going to pay any gas fees. All right. So now if you don't have that popped up, like I know for a lot of you guys, you're going to say, well, dude, this isn't here. There's no, where's it? It's only, it only shows Meadow. There's no folk on here, right? What you need to do is you need to take the contract address <clears throat> and you need to add that contract address to your uh, MetaMask wallet, all right? So you need to go to import tokens. And then uh, this says it's already been added, right? So, but all you do is this will auto populate. You just add custom token, that's it. And then guess what? Boom, it shows up. And your balance will show up. Okay, so that's all you have to do with that. It's very straightforward. Now, let's say I want to come over here to send to other chains. Maybe I want to send it back to my Binance chain wallet, right? Smart chain. Maybe I want to say, you know what? I'm going to send 50. I'm going to send 50 Polk. Um, I can send it to Ethereum, right? Or Binance, depending on what network I, am, I want to send to. It's the same process. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do this on Ethereum as well, because it's all it's all the same process. You know, if you, if you have Ethereum, if you have it on the Ethereum side, just repeat the same process. Very simple. All right. So we need to send this back to the Binance chain, right? <clears throat> if we want to get out of this MetaChain bridge and MetaChain wallet and all that good stuff, we need to bridge it back. So we're going to say send to selected chain. And then it's going to say you will transfer 50 Polk to Binance. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. So you can see here the initial, because this is a transaction within the MetaChain network, right? So it's showing that it's not going to cost us anything, right? So watch. I confirmed it and it said that the transaction was sent. Now the transaction was basically approved to be sent. And what's going to happen is it's going to populate down here. And this is your next step. You're going to have to click withdraw. All right. And now you're going to get this and it might be a little bit confusing. <clears throat> it was a little bit for me. I know that sounds silly, but um, it, it seems straightforward with this. But let me show you. Uh, please connect to Binance to withdraw your tokens. Let's see if I can get this to do this this time. So the first, what you need to do is go to your MetaMask wallet. Okay. And you need to change this back to Smart Chain. Boom. Right there. We're good. Now we're going to click that withdrawal. Right. This is the final step in completing this to ensure that it gets back to your Binance Chain wallet. Now, because the transaction was already sent off the MetaChain network and it is now pending to be sent from there, it is going to cost you to do that, right? So we're going to pay the 69 cents and we're going to confirm. And what you'll see is right here, this should change to a completed here in just a moment. We got the complete transaction completed MetaChain one message. Boom, boom. You can see it right there. Completed, all done. Now, if I go back to my MetaMask wallet, you can see right here. Okay. You can see under Smart Chain, I have my Polk back now, right? So it's that simple to bridge your coins. Okay, guys. So we have learned how to bridge our Polk coin over to MetaChain One on the BSD network. And then we also learned how to bridge it back to the BSD network. And we learned how to connect our wallet and add MetaChain as the network on your MetaMask, MetaChain One. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here. I'm going to disconnect so you guys can see kind of the process again. Let's make sure we're all on the same page. All right. Okay, so now we're just going to go up here to bridge. And this is what we're going to, this is what it should look like. Now we're going to go up here and click connect wallet. Now what we want to do is we're connecting our wallet that has our Polka City NFTs, right? So mine or the one wallet that I have this NFT on, I click here on Binance because it's going to be on the smart chain. If yours is on Ethereum, then go ahead and click that. But it's right here. You just go ahead and click this. And then right up here, you can see that it's actually um, good to go. So it's, uh, it's a connected up. Okay, now 
There we go. Make sure you guys can see everything. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to refresh. See how that happened? And now I need to double check on this and make sure should auto refresh. But if it doesn't auto refresh for you guys, just go ahead and click refresh. You can see right here that I tested this one NFT and I've done a few other tests to make sure that um, the bridging works on the coin and it works on the NFTs. So you can send this to Ethereum or you can send it to MetaChain One. All right, so let's go ahead and send to MetaChain One. All right, and then what it's gonna do here is it's gonna say, hey, uh, we need to approve this transaction, right? So it's gonna cost for that 72 cents. Okay, and there we go. Now you see here, NFT bridge sent. I'm going to do another refresh. Like I said, this uh, eventually should just refresh on its own. and shouldn't be a big deal. <clears throat> okay. Now, you can see right here, Polka Triumph. And it shows uh, the serial, and it shows here that it was completed. So that's it. That was super quick. Now, you have to remember, you're going to have to pay a gas fee to get your NFTs into MetaChain, into the MetaChain bridge, or into MetaChain 1. And then you're going to have to pay a gas fee to remove them from MetaChain 1. As long as you're using the actual MetaChain 1 network, um, within that network, it's gas-free. So you're not going to pay any fees. All right. Now, so we're here. We're connected on Binance Chain. My NFT is gone. I'm freaking out, man. I'm not really freaking out. But we come up here to MetaMask. What we're going to do is we're going to go right here to the top, and we're going to actually change from smart chain to meta chain one under our networks. And then I'm just gonna come back here and it doesn't auto refresh right now. So then just go ahead and click refresh or you can click bridge again. <clears throat> now, if this happens, you can see here, it's not connected to the wallet again, right? So all you gotta do is click, is click that and then click meta chain and then click this and then boom, it's connected. Now you can see here that nothing happened, right? But we just need to do another quick refresh. <clears throat> and then look, boom. So now my Polka Triumph is actually on the MetaChain network now, which is pretty awesome. So you can send your NFTs to MetaChain and then from that point within MetaChain, gas-free. All right? Now, <clears throat> if you want to send this back to BSC, let's say you're just like, oh, I'm going to send this back to the Binance chain, and uh, you don't want it on here anymore. Well, really easy to do. So we're going to click this. Okay. Now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to need an approval, which, see, no, there's no, no fee here, right? We're going to click OK. There we go. Now, this time it says transaction sent, right? But if you look down here, you can see that <clears throat> I've got three here that I've done in the past. This was the most recent one of sending it here. But I'm going to go ahead and just refresh. And now look, you see how it has the withdrawal button to get it out of MetaChain? So the actual initial transaction that just showed zero was actually just to to approve it, right? So really, there isn't any fees. But now that we're here and it's like sitting kind of in between um, networks, it needs to be paid for to, to transfer out of here. <clears throat> now, it says here to please connect the Binance uh, chain to withdraw your tokens, okay? So now if you get a little confused here, all you got to do, this is it right here. Just click MetaMask, right? Now we're going to go up here. And we're just going to change this back from MetaChain 1 to Smart Chain. That was pretty simple, right? Okay. Now you can see here that I'm like, okay, well, what's happening? There's nothing. Okay. And then right, I click here <clears throat> to click Withdrawal. Now, because we're on the Binance, we're, we're basically trying to approve the transaction to be sent over to Binance Chain. Now you got to pay that 72 cents, okay? All right. I'm going to go ahead and click Confirm. There we go. NFT bridge transaction completed. Pretty simple. 
I'm going to go ahead and come back up here again. Go into my MetaMask. And I'm going to go in. Yeah, I'm on the smart chain already. So <clears throat> now that it's done this, right, I'm going to refresh. That's what we're going to do. Boom. And then look, there it is. It's that simple, guys. Really, really easy. You just got to make sure that you have BNB um, for your on or Ethereum for gas fees to send to and then send back out of the MetaChain network. Um, and right here, you can see the history of when you sent it and all that good stuff. So pretty awesome stuff. The same thing applies to the Ethereum side. Um, and if you guys have any other questions, uh, you could feel free to join our Telegram. I'm sure most of you guys are on our Telegram. You can see here on the MetaChain site here on MetaChain.1, you can click support. And uh, that's going to take you to, to support, right? And you can actually go through here. Uh, you can reach out to us down here uh, and send us an email if you get stuck. Um, if you want to join our Telegram, just click this right here. And that's it. Super simple. Want to follow us on Twitter here? You know, lots of options. If you guys need any guidance from this point on, reach out to us through one of our socials um, or you know, submit a support ticket. And that's it. We'll have more tutorials coming here soon uh, for some other things. And we appreciate you very much. Looking forward to the horse racing. Looking forward to you guys having a positive experience with V-Bridge. Have a wonderful day.